Hey everyone, this is Robin from Our Wild Way, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Waldorf inspired wool playscape. We are making this for our pond unit, uh, so let's get going. So, for this project, we're going to be wet felting. We need a tray to catch the water, and you want to start with a sheet of bubble wrap. Uh, then we get some nice 100% wool roving. So it comes in all different colors and textures. I have some merino wool in here, and um, they, they just all come in really beautiful, vibrant colors. So what we need to start out by doing is taking uh, little wisps of our wool. Um, so you're going to pull, pull little pieces off at the end, kind of spread it out there and pull them out. Um, it can be a little tough but lay them out um, with their ends overlapping and you're going to want to do this in about six or seven different layers. Each layer you do, make sure it goes in the different direction. So do the first layer horizontal, the second layer um, vertical, but you want them all to be overlapping so that when you start doing the wet felting they will all mix in together. Now we're going to start our second layer. You're going to want to lay the fibers in the opposite direction that they went on the first layer. So we'll do up and down this time. Um, and now this is going to create a great pattern to really get those pieces tangled up when you start your wet felting. That's how this is going to make a mat and how it's going to become all one solid piece. Now you're going to want to do this layering in at least four to six layers. So it's going to be one big puff ball by the time uh, you're ready to start wet belting. Here I'm going to start the final layer. On the final layer you can add any kind of little um, highlights, decorations, any of, the, any of the little details that you want showing through on your final um, piece. Now after the wet felting it's going to look a little different. You can kind of adjust as you go um, but not really. Once you wrap it up and start the process, you're going to be in for the ride. So um, I'm just adding some highlights to the grass and a little bit of reflection on the water. Um, I'm going to put in some uh, pink for flowers and I'll just try to get it all shaped up um, to try to try to give it roughly that appearance that that it's going to have as a final product. All right, so here we're going to take hot, soapy water. Um, you just need a little teeny tiny bit of soap. I use Blue Dawn. Um, it works really well for the, well, the felting process. All right, so just swish that water and then pour it evenly over your piece, making sure not to disrupt it too much. But I mean, there's there's not really not really any way you can screw it up at this point. Um, this is such a forgiving, easy process. You just get your hot water on there, and then we need to flatten it. Next, we're going to fold that bubble wrap right over the top of our wool. Flatten it out, get the water all spread around, 
you are going to start adhering the wool to each other. So it's going to start uh -huh. mushing up together. It's going to start folding in, uh -huh. getting all tangled up in there. You just really want to work the water around and make sure it's all smushed together. You can open it up, make sure everything is placed right, um, tuck in the corners, do all of that um, before you get it even um, tighter. I also like to add some hot water at this point. Make sure it's really steaming and warm. If you don't have enough soap, you can add more now um, before we really, really get it woven in there tight together. Um, this next bit is going to take about five minutes. Um, I won't show it all here, but you have to rub it for about five minutes and just smush it around, mash it, um, get it so it's it's getting a little bit tighter there. Fold in your corners. Make sure it's keeping the shape that you want your final product to be. Perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of highlights, a little bit of extra detail. Um, the, the pond is a little bit darker than I'd like, so I'm going to add the highlight. I'm also going to add a little bit more bright blue to the pond so that it pops a little bit more. I'm also going to sharpen up the edges of the pond, make sure it holds that nice round look. This is such a relaxing project. The kids have done a bunch of these on their own. Um, we've done an ocean one, we've done desert scenery, we like doing them for our different biomes and different habitat projects. I think uh, the ocean one is probably our favorite. It's huge. We've used it for so many things over the years. We've had it for probably seven years. Now get that, uh, that extra layer that you just put on if you decided to do it. You don't have to. It's definitely optional. But make sure to get it mushed in. Get it wet. Um, you want to mix the soap all around. Mix the hot water. And just make sure it's all sticking together. Once you have a nice tight knit um, in your felt, go ahead and move your bubble wrap over to a towel. Now we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get this all rolled up in a nice tight little roll, and then we're gonna roll it up and we're gonna roll it. And we're gonna beat it. You could throw it around the room. <laughs> you can do whatever. You have know, the kids stomp on it when we made a really huge um, playscape. The kids stepped on it for about 20 minutes. They took turns and it worked great. It worked fabulously. Um, this is a, this is a, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of a time consuming process, but it's really worth it to make such a beautiful little handmade toy. So here you have, you got to um, rubber band the ends and go to town. So once you get it all unwrapped, after you've done that about 15 minutes or so, um, unwrap it, give it a little bit of extra agitation. Uh, you could even pour water on it if you want. Um, make sure to check that the fibers are nice and tight. You want to pinch the fibers to make sure that they stay, uh, stay down.
Then roll it up in a towel, squeeze all that excess water out, and make sure it has the right shape that you want because you can still stretch it and move it around. And it's perfect. Look at how awesome it looks. Oh my God, now let's make some rocks. So first you're just gonna take a couple of balls. You just wanna make nice tight balls. Um, my balls didn't look perfect. They looked like rocks, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, but if you want perfect balls, if you're making like felt beads or something, you'll wanna make sure that, that you um, really tightly wind the loose roving into a ball shape. Uh, but just really work it around, agitate it with your hands. Um, hot, soapy water again. And this, this, these actually go pretty fast. These little, little pieces don't take too long. And there we go. We've got our little pond playset. Got our little froggies and our pond playset. Um, here we're going to be going over what we're going to do for our pond unit um, in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more like this. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell next to it to get notifications whenever I post new videos. Um, head on over to Instagram and follow me at It's Our Wild Way. And have a great, have a great day. Bye-bye.